with Be Inspired, and we are going to be doing another Lunchtime Live. So as you're hopping on, say hi. Let me know where you're from. Um, this is going to be a project that goes with the napkin holder that you ladies all made with me last week. So if you missed that one, you can go back and watch the replay. Um, but that's what we're kind of bouncing off of. So who can I say hello to? Let me get my thing. I see Darla popped on and Beverly popped on. Lots of you ladies popped on. Let me know if you got our text or if it was Facebook. And that's just so that we know what's going on. We have texting and we have Facebook. So, hey, Mary. Hi, ladies. Happy Tuesday. Yes, from Nebraska. How cold is it there, Darlene? Darla, not Darlene. <laughs> um, hey, Morgan. And Natalie's popping on, all you ladies popping on, super excited. So I have an hour, so please keep me to that time. Um, if we get done sooner, that's fine. But I am on my lunch hour, so I'm coming in to say hello. Hey, Barbara and Carol, lots of you ladies popping on. So this is, we're going to use some more of that Pioneer Woman um, fabric that we used last week when we made our napkin holder. So if you didn't catch this live, we made this last week. Super cute napkin holder for your spring table. And I'm gonna be making a kitchen towel to kind of, to match it. Not kind of, to match it. Hey, Cindy. Oh, Linda got both, good. Hey, Donna, got your text and Facebook. Oh, good, thank you, Facebook. Um, so we're gonna be working with Heat and Bond. I worked with Heat and Bond years, years ago. <laughs> um, and so I had to kind of refresh myself on this. So we're gonna do this live. And um, hopefully we can make this cute little tea towel. Oh, beautiful, 70s, oh, that's awesome. Kind of said very sunny in Arizona. It's beautiful here today. We have no humidity, as you can tell from my hair, but my hair will always be up. <laughs> and it's sunny and cool, it's nice. I'm new, welcome Cindy. So Cindy, if you're new or anybody else is new, let us know, we would love to welcome you in. We have a lot of ladies here. Yesterday we saw the live that have been here for years um, and I can't thank them enough. So just hit the follow button and uh, we're doing daily lunchtime live. So we'll see if that's a thing now. Hey Nicole, Lainey, Lainey is um, a newbie. Okay, let me get this ironed ironed um this is my tea towel okay simple tea towel you can get tea towels anywhere you can get them at walmart you guys know where i got mine <laughs> let's see if you can guess <laughs> um and i have a set of 12 that was like 17 dollars. so it's literally a dollar 50 for a tea towel now you can get tea towels at marshall's and tj maxx like already pre-printed but i want to make mine customized and that's what this is all about is making decor that fits your home um and using in you know your stash never heard of it okay so heat and bond is the glue of fabric that's really what it is when you use it you're able to to adhere your fabric to any material so this is a simple tea towel that i got again it's dollar fifty <laughs> did you guys guess where i got it from <laughs> oh valerie had to move from florida to virginia i'm sure virginia is gorgeous hey stephanie Oh, uh, thanks, Nicole, for welcoming. <laughs> yes, Stephanie will be a guest. <laughs> Lots of you guests. Good. Yes, I am the Amazon lover. You think I would get like a personal thank you from the president, but no, that ain't happening. <laughs> hey, Sue, oh, Barbara guests. Hey, Kim, welcome. Yep, you guys are all good. Okay, so let's see. Only time I use an iron and I can't be the only one, is when I'm crafting. I don't iron my clothes. Um, <laughs> so just make sure that your iron or your surface is wrinkle free. Ah, uh, yay, Lisa's finally catching us live. Just saw you last night, Lisa. <laughs> I'm new to watching. Oh, welcome, Judy. Welcome, welcome. Nancy said Amazon, of course. <laughs> So make sure you guys are watching the time for me. I only have an hour, um, so we'll get this done. So what we're doing is we're gonna match our tea towel to the napkin holder that we made. Oh, huge lag, no problem. Hey, Janet. 
<laughs> or stock in the company. Well, the funny thing is, is um, we do know somebody who does have the stock in Amazon. And um, every time boxes show up, they're like, oh, Carol's helping your stock go up. <laughs> which is funny, but, um, okay. So we're going to use heat and bond. And like I said, heat and bond is something that you use when you want to adhere fabric to fabric or fabric to something else. You could do it to leather. Um, I think wood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I used it years, years ago. And a lot of the stuff I know about fabrics or things like that is from Alexis from Purposeful Indulgence. I call her my fabric queen. Um, so she does get questions from me on fabric. That's for sure. So you guys got to go check her out. Amazon and she actually made a cute pillow last week um, using the Pioneer Woman. Actually, I think she had like a series going on. Um, okay, so we are making the tea towel. I have a printable. It is on the blog, which is beinspiredmarket.net. If somebody posts that, I will pin it because I meant to pin it. Um, beinspiredmarket.net. If you go there and scroll to the bottom, some of you already opted in and got it. Um, but if you haven't and you want it, you can go to the blog and check out the blogs and go get your printable. Oh, thank you, Tori. That's so sweet. Oh, that just warms my heart. Thank you. I'm so glad you found us. Me, us. Um, beans, but yeah, shoot, <laughs> Stephanie. Um, okay, so the print, the, this is given to you as a printable, but we're going to use it as a template in tonight's, tonight's, I gotta get used to it, today's video. Um, so when you download it, if you do it landscape, it'll come out this, which is too big for your towels. This is more for if you're going to put this in a frame or this is to do whatever you want to do with it. Um, for our project, I downloaded it and I printed it portrait. So portrait is this way, and then it gives you the up and down. Again, it's a printable, but we're using it as a template tonight, and it is on beinspiredmarket.net. Let's see if anybody got it. Nicole got it. Let me pin it. Okay, thank you, Nicole. So that's the website, that's where the blog is, that's where you can get your template. So. You get three, you only need to cut out one bunny, which we have a lot of cutting to do, so I didn't want to do that on live. So you only really need one bunny. You're going to make three bunnies, but they're all the same, if that makes sense, okay? But go have fun, go work with the printables. Um, you can get that on the blog. If I missed your comments, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Um... Yeah, I love it. It's cute. It's cute, cute, cute. Okay. So you have your little bunny. And now your fabric. So this is the Pioneer Woman fabric. I'm going to make three bunnies. And this is, I'm going to of course use this fabric because this is the fabric we used on the, left, the napkin holder. And then I'm going to use two other ones. Thanks for all the hearts and the stars. Thank you guys. Oh, Lena got her message. Good. Yeah, if you're not on our texting, that is the best way. Um, it's 847-349-4477. Uh, Just text the word B and you'll get on our list. B-E-E. -E. <laughs> when I say B, that's what I mean. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, what are we doing? We are going to cut our heat and bond, okay? So again, this is like the glue of your fabric. This is a simple, simple project. We're going to use some buttons and we're going to embellish this. Um, but we're just going to make something cute using some more of that fabric from Pioneer Woman. So when you get heat and bond, I got mine from Amazon, but you can get it off of Joanne's um, Hobby Lobby. I'm sure carries it. Hey, Carla. Um, there's two sides. There's a bumpy side and a paper side. Okay. We're going to take our little bunny, and when I looked at it last time, it was really just one of these squares that we need. So, it's real simple. You're just going to cut out three squares. And I'll tell you the size of them. But like I said, it's it's pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's more of just hanging out with you guys. <laughs> hey, Norma. Um, cause like I said, I work with fabric, but not that much. Um, but I am enjoying it more and more. So, and I like the, the customization of it. Okay. 
So there's my three little pieces. Okay. My iron is on hot, no steam. Um, and now what I'm going to do is cut my fabric out. Thanks for hanging out. So thanks for making these so simple. So simple. It's literally fabric, any fabric that you have, okay? And then it is um, your, uh, let's see if I want to put these, try to see what's going to be the best way to cut it. Um, it's taking your fabric, it's, it's getting a design. Now you can go on your Word doc, you can go in Canva, you can go wherever you want and do your own template. My rule of thumb, just so you guys kind of know how I think, is here's my tea towel and then here's my space. So I literally measure with a fabric measuring tape. So if you decide not to use bunnies and you want to go do chicks or you want to go do eggs or you want to go do anything like that, you can just take and measure. So my tea towel is seven inches across and then kind of eyeball how tall you want if you want a bigger design. That is what I use when I go into any of my systems and I punch in like, okay, I need a box this big and then I find my graphic and then I print it. Okay, so just to give you an idea. but. This printable off my blog, like I said, as long as you print it portrait like this, then one of these little bunnies, you're going to do three of them, but they fit right across the tea towel, okay? And if you print it landscape, you really could take one of the bigger bunnies and just do one big bunny. And you can add whatever you want. This is just for inspiration. Um, you do you. <laughs> Um, hello, hey Joanne. Okay, you guys all good? Everybody good? All right, let me move my towel to the side and let me cut out my fabric. All right, I'm cutting out my fabric, and I'm just again using the fabric from um, Pioneer Woman. Welcome, everybody. All right. So I'm doing three different kinds. Again, you can do one, you can do one big bunny, but it's kind of just to show you that you could just take an idea and, and run with it, really. Probably should have went somewhere else with that one, but okay. And this is, if you've never worked with heat and bond or you're intimidated by fabric, this is a real simple project because your pieces are not that big. <laughs> it's $1.50. So you know what? If you screw up, you just go grab another one. You get 12 in your pack. Um, so it's just really fun. Oh, hey, Alice. You just got it. It was a delay. Hi, Janet. Lots of you ladies on. Okay. How are we on time? I think we're good on time. And thank you for the stars. So if you don't go with the Pioneer Woman, you can definitely do um, bundles, like fabric bundles. I like fabric bum bundles. Like I got this one from Joann's. And the reason I love them is that they like coordinate. <laughs> like somebody does the thinking. I think with fabric, that's where it intimidates me is because sometimes I have a struggle of what fabric goes with what fabric or how do patterns work. Um, so the, the bundles make it easy for me because I don't have to think. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Allison. Okay, so let me cut my fabric. My iron is on. My heat bond is cut. Got three little bunnies ready to go. <laughs> oh, there he is. I was like, where is he? Where is he? Ah. Uh, Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. We're really good. This is a quick one. I like fabric. Oh, yes, for that reason. Right, Debbie? It makes it easy. It really does. I I struggle with them. <laughs> um, okay. How do I want to do this? What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to get this on here. Right? Is that what I want to do? Cut a little more. I don't need all that fabric. 
thinking out loud. What are we making? We're making a tea towel using fabric that we used last week for our napkin holder. Um, and we're gonna use some buttons and all the fun things. Hey, Cindy. Okay, so now that you have your heat and bond and your little piece of fabric, you're gonna, there's two sides to the heat and bond. There's a paper side and there's a um, bumpy side. So now we're gonna take our iron that's hot, no steam, and literally it's a couple seconds. So you're basically adhering the heat and bond to your fabric, okay? So that's, and we're gonna cut them out. So I'm gonna get all of them so they cool as we're doing this. This is my second piece. Your bumpy side is down. Hey, Lori. And it's a quick project. And the possibilities, like I said, are endless. Okay. And then this one. Hope it works. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll be popping off. You're doing it for like literally two seconds. Okay. So then now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and put our bunny. I'm going to reverse him because when you flip it, you're going to want your fabric that way. Where did I get that? Maria Garcia. <laughs> Where do you think I got it? Where do you think I got it? Um, okay, let me trace. I'm going to go ahead and trace my little bunny on here. Okay. We'll do one at a time. And it doesn't have to be. It's like a, like a rough draft. Well, not rough draft, but just take your time. Don't move them. Sometimes I like to take stick, like little pins, push pins, and put my design in there to make it a little easier. And then I'm gonna cut about. Yeah, thanks, Nicole. <laughs> there, cut him out. So it's really simple. It's, again, it's kind of that one, two, three method that we've been doing a lot. One, cut your fabric out. Two, um, get your heat and bond on there. Three, trace and cut out your design. That's pretty much it. Let me do that. Let me see if I'm not missing your comments. Thanks for hanging out with me on the lunch hour. I appreciate that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we have our winner. We did a um, Spread the Honey winner or um, follower yesterday that I picked randomly and I'm gonna be sending out happy mail to. So, Dawn Bubel, if you are on here, I'm gonna send this out to you. This is one that we used yesterday's project. Um, come back tomorrow, cause I'm gonna be doing another Spread the Honey um, gifting. But Dawn Bubel, if you are on, uh, make sure that you message me uh, your information and I'll get that out to you. So I appreciate you guys Sitting in the waiting room for my grandson's bus you guys Yeah, what is everybody up to? Everybody having a good Tuesday Like I said, we have gorgeous weather here gorgeous gorgeous. Okay, that's one bunny Cute and you still have to take the paper from the back off but I'm just going to go ahead and cut my bunnies out first, and then we'll go from there. Oh, that's so sweet. Sue said, congratulations, Dawn. Yes. So come back tomorrow. We're going to do um, another gifting of the other cutting board that I used in yesterday's project. So sitting in my craft room watching you, how fun is that? It starts off National Crafter Month. Isn't that fun? Which some of you were commenting and saying, like, isn't every day Crafter Month? <laughs> Which it is. In our world, it is. 
So these little buttons, like I said, if you go to the pin post, you can scroll down, you can get your own printables for the bunnies and anything else, um, you know, DIY. We have a lot of blog posts up there. I'm adding to Garland. I had to fit my fireproof mantle making bunnies and carrots. Oh, you're busy, Shirley. Very busy. Very busy. Uh, congratulations, Dawn. Yes, Dawn, if you're watching, make sure you could text us or um, message us on uh, our website, beinspiredmarket.net. Want to see... Oh, somebody went to the cardiology, cardiologist. Prayers for you. I didn't read your whole comment. Love my little crafter's iron, right? It's a little travel iron. I used to have that little, the little, little one. I actually still have it. Um, but I wasn't a fan of the cord. The cord was too big for the iron. So I went and just got this one. It's a little pricier, but the cord helps. Like, it doesn't knock down. It comes with a little stand. You're making two rocking chairs. Oh, I have clothespins. Ooh. If you don't know, we do have a free group. You guys are more than welcome to join um, and share your uh, projects in there. Especially for this month. Can you imagine what everybody's going to be doing? <laughs> uh, spread the honey. Thank you. Yes, please do that. Even if there is no gifting, that does help. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, but obviously, if you're inspired or love the project... Okay, so I'm just taking again, I'm just cutting out my little bunny. It's a super easy project, but it's just another way to add decor to your home that's inexpensive and personalized to you. And that's always what I say that I love. A lot of things in my home are just personalized to me. It's things that I love. They mean something. Um, and, I, you know, I don't... I mean, obviously, there's trends and styles and things, and everybody has their own, but I think it's important to also put yourself, so when people walk in your home, they feel uh, welcome, and it's a reflection of you. Oh, thank you, Marianne. Darlene, lots of you guys on. Thanks for spreading the honey, Valerie. Yes. Okay. So, like I said, it's a little, you know, uh, repetitive. But it's relaxing, I think. <laughs> I think, I think. So, how cute. This is going to be a cute tea towel. And again, it's really using your scraps of fabric. And I don't think the heat and bond was not very expensive off of Amazon. That's where I got it. I get everything from Amazon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks for spreading the hun uh, honey. Let's see. I'm always torn between work and my sports photography, right? There's always something. Okay, so these are super cute. So here's our towel, okay? Let me see that, yeah. So I'm still gonna add buttons to this, so I'm kind of just playing around to see how I'm gonna put these guys on here. But there's how cute. And once you use heat and bond, okay, so I'm going to start off with this guy. Let me see. Now, I am going to add buttons that we used because you got to use these buttons from Amazon. So I'm trying to see, eyeballing it, where my height is. Okay. Okay, that looks good. We're going to play with that. All right, so then you're going to take your paper off. Of course, I'm going to have to find where I can take it off with my nails. That's the hard part. Hold on. Let me get my little picker. Let me get my little picker. Okay, there we go. So you just got to get your piece. I got a little, I got hot. And now, what happens is, there's a part that's shiny. Can you guys see that glare? Um, a little of it came off the top when I picked it out. I don't know how I'm gonna maneuver that one. 
I kind of ripped it. So you got to be careful with that. But we'll make it work. Basically, I kind of, I not kind of, I ripped it. So I'm trying to place it. So basically what you're doing is there's a shiny side that ends up being your glue. Okay, so I'm going to peel all of them so we kind of know placement before we start doing stuff. Oh, thank you, Nicole. All right, so let's see if we could do this one a little better without ripping it. Maybe I'll start it as a little tushy. And we're going to add to... Um, Something for the little butts or buns. Use a drop fabric glue. Yes. Well, you know what? The fabric glue, the only thing with that, to be honest with you, Patches, is um, to me, it sometimes you can see it. Like it's bumpy. Where heat and bond is not. Okay. Ugh. Hang with me. I gotta use my thing. Hey, Cindy. Welcome. My eyes are playing tricks on me. There we go. Okay. So basically what you're doing is there's a paper side. It's really easy to use. If you haven't, Crafters Month, National Crafters Month is getting out of your comfort zone and doing something and finding your creativity. Um, there's something maybe you didn't think that you would. <laughs> so it's kind of going out of your comfort zone. So this might be it. So there's your shiny side it's not sticky until you re-iron it okay when you iron it that's when it's gonna get sticky but the possibility is like i said if you want to make a big egg go on the google find it and or the google on google find it and uh i think there's another creator that says on the google um and that's where i got it from but uh <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? And the, you just go do any shape you want. Okay? And that's it. So then you just do that. You may use heat and bond to make... Yes, you can. Absolutely. Absolutely, Patches. Okay. Like I said, I could do it. You ladies could do it. So, one, two, three. Um, cut your fabric. Get your heat and bond on there and iron. Oh, this is so cute. And we're going to add something, I think, for the little butts. Now, you're going to ask me about washing. And I will tell you, heat and bond and using fabric glue for your buttons will allow you to wash it. Now, the right way to do it is, if you're going to use the buttons, is really to sew your buttons onto your tea towel. Um, now, will it last in the wash? I can't tell you that. I'm more of a use it and I don't like to store things. So a lot of times I'll do something like this and then I might donate it and then start fresh the next year because it's so inexpensive for me as far as like tea towel and things like that. But that's why I don't really look at things when I do stuff like this as washing it. I do the same thing with pillows. They're seasonal. I don't usually wash them. Um, so I can have a little more fun with it. Okay. So, yes, you have to try this, Sue. Absolutely. All right, I'm trying to get it just so it sticks. Oh, cute. So it's going to match. See? I'm going to have this hanging on my oven door, and then I have this on my kitchen table. How cute is that? Thank you so much, Nicole. Nicole is a moderator here on our page and um, in our group, and um, she's always so great with answering questions. So thank you. Okay. That's it. Now we're going to iron. We're going to iron it? We're going to iron it. <laughs> you can watch comments. We're going to iron it. I can't see comments. You can't see How them can that you far? see that? Okay. The iron, you're only going to do eight seconds. But we're going to... How are we doing this? Let's do one. Maybe one at a time. No. Yes. Maybe one at a time. Okay. Sorry. What do you have on there? Um, Heat and bun. I'm gonna hold it down. Everybody's hi, Bill. Hey, Patsy. If I miss you, it's because I can't see you. Sorry. <laughs> Patches says hi, Bill. Lori hey, says Cole. hi. Hey, Lori. 
Nicole, it was nice enough to put my website on there. Janet, hi, lady, saying hi to Bill. You miss me. <laughs> well, I miss all of you. Yeah, say Sue. All right. So, Drop some hearts. <laughs> so that's Share it. the pain. Yeah. yeah, right? We got a lot of ladies yeah, on, though. For There's lunchtime? like, yeah, for lunchtime. Okay. <clears throat> so that one's adhered. I'm going to do this one. And if you didn't see yesterday's lunchtime life, go check it out. It was cool. Yes. What did we do? Oh, yesterday we did the bunnies. We did the bunnies. And we actually just did. So Dawn. Don't tell them too much. Boobell won the gifting. And we're going to do another gifting tomorrow. But you got to come back. Uh, good to see you, Carla says. Okay. So right here, you could kind of see it lifted. So then just take your iron and put it down there. Oh, see, Kim says, glad to see you. Hey, Kim. Lori says, hello. Hey, Lori. Oh, you guys are so awesome. We do miss you, Lori York says. <laughs> <laughs> I miss them too. It is kind of hard keeping track with the Aww. with the comments. Aw. Aw. So, you okay. Got, you got this, girl. I got this. No, I got this. <laughs> He always, he says I sound like a trucker. <laughs> hey, Debbie. Says, we miss you. Uh, you miss us. Yeah, that's the question. Oh, I miss all of you. Yeah, he likes coming on here. Oh, um, thank you. All right. So, look how simple that was. That was awesome. That looks really I'm gonna cool. I'm going to do. Actually, my mom might like that. <laughs> uh, thanks, Cynthia. And, uh, okay, so like I said, real simple. Look at that. Look how cute. We're going to add something for the little butts. So basically, butts? I shouldn't say that word. It should be for Hines. the little heinies. They're little heinies. <laughs> They're little bunny heinies. Monica said, miss you. So real simple. Like I said, if you haven't tried it, you're going to do, are you leave it? Yeah. Oh, we'll say goodbye. <laughs> Some, well, I might pop back in, so no. it might not just be goodbye. Some of us have to work, ladies. Lori Some says, how's the new work. job? It's going yeah. well for him. Going good. It's going good. <laughs> Heat and bond and fabric. Tea towel, go have fun, and go grab um, the printable on my blog, okay? And just print it portrait, and you'll get the right size. So we're still going to make this cute. Patsy said so stinking cute. Oh, yesterday was fun, right? Yeah, we, ladies, I'm telling you, this makes my day. I'm on lunch and we're crafting. And then I get off here and I go back to my underwriting job and um, it just breaks up the day. So, there you go. Later, Bill. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Okay, so let's get some buttons. Again, your best, when you're using something that you're gluing to fabric, you want to use fabric glues, fabric um, sticks. Surebonder has them. When I was doing my purge, I kid you not, I had at least three more hot glue guns, and I donated them. My suggestion is to have a glue gun separate for your fabric sticks. Trying to change out a glue gun that has regular to fabric, unless somebody knows a trick, I don't know, it's hard. So I usually have one that just has my regular glue, and then I try to have a hot glue stick that has, um, not hot glue stick, you know what I mean. Ugh, this thing, it's not doing. Oh, thank you, Judy. Okay. It's not, um... My glue gun is still going. So I'm going to look at some comments. Are we good on time? Let me clean up some of this while it, it does that. So you can do buttons. You can do um, other fabric. You can do a ruffle. You can do lots of things. So like I said, if you're printing, I'm waiting for my glue to, hot glue gun to come on. Of course, it's giving me a hard time. Um, just print your printable, um, on the website portrait and then cut it out. Do you guys have any questions while we're waiting for the glue gun to heat up? Can you show the heat and bond? Yes. So this is the one where you don't stitch through it. <clears throat> so there's two of them. There's heat and bond ultra, and then there's a heat and bond light. The light 
is like if you do some of the embroidery or your appliques and things like that and you want to sew through it the holds you don't sew through you just it's pretty much just your glue i have a gun for regular one for gorilla and one for fabric okay what are you using oh yes that's a good point what are we using for the tails what are we going to use for the tails hmm hey this little pom-pom we made yesterday but that's going to be too big and that's going to take too much time oh here we go <laughs> so here's my little christmas stash <laughs> this is from little pom-poms oh it's perfect they got like little sparklies too see i told you there's always something i purged but i saved some so these are little pom-poms you get them at dollar tree but when you have more time and you're not on a line you're more than welcome to make um pom-poms out of yarn you could literally take a little um piece of fur and you can do that so yeah look Here's my drawer. I have to do a craft room. I keep saying, but this is like my little felt ball um, stash. I have felt balls <laughs> galore. So those are perfect and they're white. Yay! I love it when things work out that way. Yes. Oh, so you have my glue gun. I could make it like chocolate. Ooh, nice. It's the perfect size. It is the perfect size. Okay. Oh my Jesus, this glue gun. I don't know why. Why it's giving me such a hard time. These are the perfect size. I have felt balls and I've not done anything with them. You know what? A lot of it is for garland. Mr. Ryobi is going to get a message from me. How cute. Are we good on time? Applicates on shirts for my boys and Elsie oh, washed them and I said it just they lasted years. See, that's what I say with crafting. Things have been around forever. <laughs> it's just us finding it again and you know applying it to different ways and and um it's just fun. I, I just think it's really fun. These are the perfect size. Okay. All right, look how cute. Look how cute. Okay, so I was gonna add the buttons because that's what we did for the napkins. But do we add the buttons or do we just let it be? I was just gonna do a row of buttons on the bottom because obviously I wanna use up the buttons. So should we add the buttons? I'm thinking add the buttons because I think it ties in then. Oh, thank you, 208. Thank you, Patsy, we're good. Awesome. Aren't they cute? They're like the perfect size. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that makes, look how easy that was. And it's one of a kind. You can't go and find it anywhere. Okay, what are we saying? Hey, Carol, are we saying buttons? I'm thinking buttons. Yes, Maria says yes. Because this is what we're going with. This is what we're matching. Yes, buttons. I heard another crafter complaining about, yes, Alice, the Ryobi has some issues. Button accents it and ties it in. Yes, less. <laughs> Judy said, let it be. <laughs> Adore. Okay, we're going to do buttons. <clears throat> that was the original plan. I love you, Judy, but I can't just let it be. <laughs> um, thanks for the hearts. Okay, so these buttons are from Amazon. I had them in my, they're, it, be here's my thing. BeInspiredMarket.net is my hub. That is my website. If you ever want to know anything about this page, anything about the blog, anything about my Amazon store, or anything, the, the sweatshirt I had on yesterday, everything is housed at BeInspiredMarket.net. So just kind of save it to your favorites. They should. Yes, they should, Maria. I think so, too. It, there, there's an issue. There's an issue with, I had to jack mine up by putting like a little cube in there because it doesn't sit right. And if it doesn't sit right, it doesn't charge. See how the light goes in and out? So it's just, and it could just be, you know, I have seen some crafters that have no issues. So I don't know. Yeah, we're going to tie all the buttons and we're going to time anyway. 
Sue's had this. Sue, have you had, I like my beast. And I did get another beast that's dual temp from Home Depot. So I'm expecting that. So I'll let you know. And that one's dual temp, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there has to be seven. I still do odd numbers. Okay? So even for my bottom, you guys know that. Everything is odd. Odd numbers. Okay. So disclaimer, like I said earlier, if you're doing this um, and you intend to keep it, you want to use fabric glue. But for our purposes, we're using hot glue. Don't burn yourself. So what I'll do is do this. I don't know why sometimes I go backwards. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just running. Ah, these buttons, I'm telling you, they're so cute. Ooh, don't get it on your finger. And don't glue it to your mat. Okay. <laughs> then you get the strings all over. So let me get the strings out and show you just how cute. Perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh. Cute, cute. Okay, cute, cute. <laughs> so we made it in less than an hour. I love the tea towels. Yay, oh, love it. These were hanging out and spreading. Make sure you guys come tomorrow. We'll have a gifting. Look at. Okay, I'm not gonna find one. I'm not. This is mine. This is, <laughs> I hope you guys recreate it because I am giving you the template. So like I said, this is a printable on the blog, but for this project, it's a template. When it's a template, that means you're gonna cut out your little bunny and you're gonna cut out your fabric and your heat and bond. Oh, thanks, Nettie. So how cute, this is gonna hang on my oven door. This is on my kitchen table. Adorable, Sue says, yay. Oh, I'm so glad. And I said the possibilities are endless endless of what you can do oh just adorable oh thank you renata so dang cute oh it wasn't yeah geneva it wasn't it wasn't a crafter so cute oh good oh thanks for all the hearts came out so cute yes like i said go out of your comfort zone it's you know what i always say try there's always a plan b and again if this didn't work out or didn't like the buttons, just start over. Um, sometimes we are our own critics or we beat ourselves up for stuff. Just try it. Um, you never know. You never know. Go make some personalized home decor. Love them. Good. Oh, uh, thanks, Maria. All right, you ladies know what to do. Make sure that you join our free group. I would love for you to join and share. We have well over 5,000 women in there sharing ideas daily. Um, I do have tomorrow come back. We're going to do another lunchtime live. Tomorrow we are releasing our paint party. Um, it's a pop-up paint party that we're doing this month. Um, so come back for that. Lots of fun stuff happening. So perfect. All right, ladies, I'm going to have enough time to clean up, get back to work, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Get on our texting and I'll tell you what time because that changes. <laughs> All right. Bye guys. See you soon.